Look at this. Hey guys, it's Amanda here, the creative gardener, and today's video I want to show you some natural archways. Now, looking at this um, at the moment, it doesn't necessarily look like an archway, but that's what I'm working on. So this particular tree is called the clammy cherry tree, and it actually does grow really tall. Um, it branches out, and I'll show you an area where it's done so if you come with me Ooh. okay so what it does is, is form like canopies um, it grows the branches as you can see grow really long and tall and if you allow them they grow really thick and they just provide a, um, a natural canopy and at one point this whole area um, was covered with the clamor cherry tree and um, I got my son to cut it back just so that the papaya trees here and the plants here could get some natural sunlight because it was actually really shady over in this part so one of the things that I use this uh, clamor cherry tree for is um, I use the wood in terms of building things what have you built you may ask <laughs> I'm in the process of, I'm building a, um, like a mini arbor, I'm just experimenting, but it's reusing, I mean, this, this particular tree is the, um, uh, Moringa, but on either side, you've got this Kalama cherry tree. So I'm, I'm trying to create areas of the garden that have kind of like a, an archway effect, that kind of secret garden. Oh my goodness, what's through there? And you can see one kind of forming just here on the other side there. And um, let's walk through. I have to be careful about these. Um, I've got quite a few different varieties of spider in the garden. And... Uh, yeah, so this area, which I just need to do some more work on, my um, composter, the wood rotted, which was unfortunate, and uh, fell off. So I'm going to see how I can utilise this in another way. Um, it's actually full of composted material and some ones that haven't broken down yet, but hey. Anyway, so creating natural um, archways with the... Um, trees themselves and I can't remember I, keep, I always forget the name of this particular tree but it has an orange orange blossom the leaves have an orange blossom um, kind of orangey aroma to them so this particular area when it rains it um, the water from both neighbors gushes down here so I'm limited to what I can actually in terms of plants put here what I've put here so far is the broadleaf thyme and they seem to be doing well and we've got Mexican sunflower grown at the at the back there so I'm thinking those two plants seem to be doing well um, and uh, yeah there's there's not a lot I can do in terms of the the water that runs down I was going to try and build a dam but then you don't want a load of water to be pulled here um, anyway so you can see the um, clamor cherry tree here and this orange blossom tree here it's not an orange blossom yeah but the uh, clamor cherry has gone all the way up I don't know how far you can see it going up and um, I had one here I've still got one here and it grew all the way up and it was coming over here so um here's another look i like the look of this i love it um so we've got the plants growing up either side but let me show you a proper kind of archway in progress okay so here's one i'm encouraging this is my um, pomegranate tree and i do need to i feel i do need to clip it back it's grown exceptionally bushy um i'm amazed but what I want to do is just cut it down, sort of like, just chop off a little bit at the top. But keep this, so this one is growing over, so I like that um, feel. And, um, yeah, we'll just, I'm just going to see how it goes. All I've been doing is just clipping any excess around here. Obviously not with the fruit, as they haven't yet um, ripened. But 
again I like this feel let's see it from <laughs> let's see it from the other side <laughs> um, there we go it gives you a kind of yeah just nice kind of look I like this um, and eventually I do want you know plants come in either side the only thing with this is that the spiders they love it and they they go from either side and they're just bang smack in the middle and then you walk into them okay so let's show you the other one this this one is my favorite one so far should we come what side should we come we'll come from this side first and then i'll show you the other side look at this <laughs> well it's not necessarily an archway but the trees are growing up high well it is i'm going to call it that anyway so i've got another clement cherry tree here um and i'm just going to encourage it to do the same and as you can see on one side i've got the mexican sunflower um they're actually trying to go that way um that's how the wind blows them but as we walk up here we've got um this is my um moringa patch i planted about 30 moringa trees here and they're all growing really well and they're all kind of um, fighting for sunlight and so that's what's giving this area this kind of you know what is it uh i was going to say mangrove <laughs> um as the trees kind of you know go over and if you go around you know parts of Barbados you'll see where trees have done that and it's so pretty so I love this look it just it's it's a feeling it gives me being here and you know seeing all this greenery and I've always loved the forest not that I've spent lots of time in the forest as a child I went to the um, Epping Forest and I think that's what really made me feel um, akin, not akin, <laughs> akin to the forest life. Um, but I love nature, I do. And then I went camping and um, in Ireland and that was, we had a lovely time, lots of horses. Yeah, we did some horse riding, it was amazing. But I like this as I look up, you know, the trees overhead and these are edible. Moringa, again, my food forest idea. The Mexican sunflower provides uh, the fertilizer for the soil and I can, you know, reach up and take a nibble of the leaves. I use the leaves in tea, in cooking. I eat it um, just like as a salad as well. Or I lightly steam it. It's got a strong taste when you eat it raw, but if you lightly steam it, that kind of goes. Um, I put it in um, bakes. For those of you who know what a bake is, um, it's just uh, flour. Uh, the way I make mine is flour, a little bit of sugar. Come here, come here. It's cold. Can you see? I don't know whether you can see. It. Anyway, um, flour, water, sugar. No, I use almond milk, um, some cinnamon, and I usually put in, you know, quite a bit of moringa leaves because then you've got, and then you lightly fry it, and it cooks up. So, Jamaica we call it Johnny Cake um, but yeah it tastes really nice basically you could use it with anything in smoothies so that is um, there's only one other area that's got a kind of a semi um, archway feel the other thing is the paths I'm trying to create kind of um, you know path areas that um, uh, kind of circular so this I've got to fight with the bananas but look here lots of tidying up to do that had plants in it and then when it rained it filled up with water and it's a trap for mosquitoes so I've just put it on its side there not that I have to explain but <laughs> it's just like what's that bucket doing there um, but this area you know this is again the Mexican sunflower growing over I was going to cut it back but I thought no let me just allow the flowers to finish blooming um, on the other side we've got the uh, organic farmer um, but yeah and this is what separates us I planted this um, planted all of it so all along every single plant you can see in here bar 
um, a few and some of the voluntary ones like the um, shack shack tree um, I've planted but look how pretty this is so I thought it's not as if um, I come this way often um, but I can allow them to flower and then I can cut them back and when you cut them back it bushes out so that's what's next going to happen but that's my natural um, some of my natural archways I, I was really looking to see how I could you know grow them not grow them um, plant them but not plant them uh, make them with like you know an arbor or something but the trees are giving me a hand um, and providing are just growing as tall as I need to. Anyway, so I just wanted to share that with you and um, I wish you well in your garden. If you've got any questions or want to know more, then just drop a uh, comment um, down below and um, let me know how you're getting on in your garden. Take care for now and I'll see you soon.